Hello, hello, I am Bridget Rowe, I am energy, I am powerful, and I am who I say I am. The purpose of this video and the videos for this particular month, September 2019, will be talking about mentally stimulating a man. Sorry about that. Anyway, before I start with the videos, there'll be a video each day throughout this month on different tactics just because I do consultations with, with women and oftentimes they want to know you know oftentimes they're hurt or they're looking for love and I often talk about being in the box the matrix limited thinking and outside of the box tapping into the universal source of energy God creation whatever you want to call it the cosmos the universe whatever you call it and the difference and and so when I share these tactics, the reason why I'm sharing them is because I know at the end of the day that it will allow for a woman to tap into her feminine essence and it also allow for a woman to learn how to love herself and to see that sometimes we often look for love in the wrong places and looking for love inside of the box is the wrong place because we are love. We stem from the source of love because if you want to reverence a God or a universe or whatever, it is the most powerful form of love that there is. And in these videos, you begin to see how human nature is and how it works inside of the box. And oftentimes we have to evolve from the, the matrix thinking or the box thinking in an effort to receive the love that we really want and the love that we really want happens when we begin to love ourselves. So anyway, this particular video here, <laughs> the title of this video is gonna be, you look good just the way you are. <laughs> Psych. And I say that because oftentimes men will tell women, oh, you look good. You look good just the way you are. You don't have to wear makeup. You don't have to do all of that. And I feel like that is like human nature. You know, men often say things to women that are not true. In being a woman, you have to pay attention to the actions of a man and you have to begin to determine what he really means by his actions. You have to kind of like read between the lines, so to speak. So when a man is telling a woman that you look good just the way you are, I think that it's farthest from the truth because they deviate from that. It is human nature to want somebody that looks good that's somebody that's confident like women women go behind like the bad boy oftentimes in life because of the way that the bad boy he has his swag about himself he is confident you know and that alone the love for himself that alone is what attracts the woman to that man him being a great provider you know a protector the energy of that particular being is attracting the woman to him even though he might be a bad boy but that's what she she longed for it because he he's he's handling his business he's providing he's taking care of himself so she's looking at him and so oh okay i could squeeze in there and get some of that too you know and so with that in mind i feel the opposite is true i feel that a man longs for that woman that looks good takes care of herself and is confident within her own skin and oftentimes relationships i feel fail because women sometimes not just women men do it too but they look so much for validation in the man and it turns them off and it shows as though it's like low self-esteem lack of confidence so i wanted to go over a couple of things to exude that feminine energy always but these things here are physical because men are visual creatures and so we're going to ignore the fact that they say okay you look good just the way you are with you know your crusty feet you know ashy skin and whatever but you look good just the way you are we're going to ignore that and we're going to believe the opposite is true <laughs> okay and the first thing that i have on my list is because i'm health conscious what do you eat all day and it's gonna go tie into physical, just give me a minute here. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say this number one because a lot of women 
some women rather, don't smile. Some women, and this is me, this is the old me, this is my lower self. They have a bad attitude. And it, I feel as though it's directly connected to the things that we consume. Because if we eat and bacon for breakfast, you know, with our eggs and grits, and then we eat our turkey because we have a turkey sandwich for lunch, and then we eat our chicken or our pork for dinner, we're eating a different animal all day long. And before that animal is slaughtered, it knows that the lifespan is about to be complete. It is fearful. It's probably avoiding death. You know, it's going into this fight or flight mode, you know, and so all this adrenaline fatigue and, <laughs> and emotional distress in this particular animal is there upon its death. When it dies, it's brought to the little slaughterhouse or whatever, put it in your little grocery store, and then you take it home, you cook it, and you consume it. You're transferring that dead energy inside of you. And so that fear, that sluggishness, that anger, that hate, all of the feelings that the animal had, you have inside of you. And so we often wonder why we're walking around. Some women are walking around with attitude. Can't lose weight. Angry. Want to go off on somebody. Wanting to wish, you know, wishing somebody would. Can't even say hi to anybody. So I would put that as number one. What are you eating? And so this is love for itself when you begin to consume foods that are bringing nourishment to your body. And you lay off of the heavy meats all the time. Because they stagnate your energy. Not only that, they make your complexion, your skin look worse. You know, because of the parasites and, 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 and the, the, the dead waste, you know, that you consume. In. So I put that on number one is what is you eating? Taking care of your body is really important as being a feminine woman. It comes a moment in your life when your health should be important. Even if it's not for you, for your children, your great grandchildren that you want to be around. You want to have energy to play with them. You know, and if you're seeking a partner inside of this box, so to speak, okay, you, you want to be able to go on a date with them, huh? You want to be able to have stamina with them, you know, during that moment, an uh, intimate moment, right? So what you eat is really important as far as feminine energy is concerned. That is number one for me on my list. The next one is how you walk. A feminine essence has a really slow walk. It's graceful. You know, feminine essence when it walks in the room is the aura of um, of confidence, of sexuality. You know, so if you are stomping in a room, that feels or sounds like masculine energy. Walking slower and graceful is feminine energy. And when you're walking, if you are conscious of the way you walk, and you pay attention to like the runway models. They walk heel toe, heel toe, and it makes them appear to be sexy, er, you know. Even heel, heel toe, heel toe. Also, also, if you look in the mirror, it actually makes your butt looks curvy, curvier. You know, it gives a curve to your butt if you walk heel toe versus toe heel. So pay attention to the way you walk and get gather another, you know, a light, graceful, feminine walk. I already said smile. And that ties into what you're eating. I feel as though people, when they, you know, not eating a healthy diet or, or you know, mentally having parasites or critters in their head or thinking negative, you know, they it's hard sometimes at that level, I understand, to smile. But a smile, being approachable is important too. It, it, it shows feminine essence too. It shows that you're not always in raw mode, you know. Being in raw mode, so to speak, is masculine energy, you know. If a man wants to choose you to be his woman, then he's looking for feminine. He's not looking for another man that's always wanting to, to, to fuss and yell, you know. So smile, being graceful, knowing how to express yourself and communicate effectively by speak, speaking the words of I feel or it feels like. Because when you begin to speak on how you feel, you're speaking from your heart chakra. And that's, that, that's the feminine right there. That's your magnetic pull. That's your comeback. Oftentimes in a relationship, a relationship bond happens because you express yourself from your heart. And it's magnetic. It's your comeback. Men are the logical ones. They speak, you know, from the thinking, from the mind. That's the electric side of the spark. But if you know how to 
control your emotions and speak from your heart. You alone as a woman can create the electromagnetic wave of energy that will have all men coming to you. Because you're not overreacting but you're speaking from your heart and your truth. And that is the sexiest thing instead of saying never mind or oh, ain't nothing wrong. You know? That's one part of um, feminine essence that I feel is really has lost a lot of its, its, its existence but it's really the most powerful because the heart is the most powerful form love is the most powerful form that, of, of energy that there is anyway feminine essence in the physical perfume how do you smell how you smell you know we have uh, copulant fluids like chemicals that are released from the vagina actually airborne that is supposed to kind of like draw men to us you know just like a dog in heat for example the dog in heat when he knows that there's another female dog he run around the corner whatever he don't know what that what that other dog look like but he can sense it he smells it it's airborne and so this a little bit goes back to um diet in a sense too because if you're a heavy meat eater maybe you don't you don't possess the um the powerful copulin or pheromones that you know that you could but perfume can work you know they are, actually have perfume with copulin um pheromone type uh scents inside of it and if you're conscious yes i understand conscious beings don't want the little toxic uh perfumes on your body but you could always put perfume on your clothes before you put them on you know instead of and i'm against that too because i don't like putting it just anything on my skin so putting it on your clothes versus putting it on your wrist or your neck you know or all over your body still how allow you to smell good and smells bring back memory you know smells like for example rose rose oil even if you don't like perfume they have rose oils and lavender oils myrrh and frankincense oils that you can use on you that smell really really good rose would be the most potent one because it's roses it is on a frequency of love of love which is the most powerful form of the energy there is and a lot of perfumes have rose oil inside of it so how you smell that's feminine you know you want to smell fresh and clean your hair now, i'm not gonna stay, stay long on this particular topic because you know you can't talk about black people with their hair but i will say there's one thing it depends upon where you are in your journey you know if you are trying to attract someone different maybe a higher status man than what you're used to you know you everybody get these certain type of people that that you know come to them based upon where you are based upon your vibration though we have to keep that in mind so if you maybe around uh like lower class people for example then the people in that class are always going to come to you because you are on that particular frequency you dress like them, you act like them, you know, you vibrating like them. So in an effort, if you want to step up and evolve and look and attract maybe a higher class, a person, you have to step it up. If you are six, step your looks up to maybe a seven or eight. If you are eight, step up. If you are 10, go to 11. You don't stop at no 10. Keep going. There's always room for improvement in your journey. And so what I'm saying here is, if you have purple and pink and green and stuff here, basically you're going to attract those people that vibrate on the purple and green hair frequency. Now keep in mind the, the people, the men who are more established, more corporate America, more financial secure, they're not really walking around with the women with the purple and the green hairs and stuff, you know. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with your hair. And, and Nicki Minaj is exempt from this hair. She, she's up there already. So keep, you, you're not Nicki. You, you know, you're not Nicki Minaj. Anyway. <laughs> heels. You know, with how you dress matters too. Heels. You know, men like to see women in heels. You know, especially on date, late night settings. And I feel like, um, I don't wear heels all the time. I don't. But sandals are cute too you know it, it's just how you adorn yourself at the same time just like those it's kind of like just being classy and not being trashy you know like when you're not wearing heels sandals are cute you know they have 
pointy toe uh, flats that are really cute that I wear to corporate America. Um, I feel as though for a woman though, it feels so sexy, it feels so organic, it feels so natural, it feels so feminine when I'm wearing a dress. You know, the dress is what a dress would be my top thing to wear if I'm, you know, exuding feminine energy. If I'm, not, if I'm, if I'm really feeling myself, I'm gonna put on a dress. You know, because it makes me feel good. It makes me flow even with my walk. It just makes me feel sexy when I have a dress on. And then for the opposite sex, it's, so I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about you loving yourself. These are the things that's going to make you feel good. But at the same time, for the opposite sex, a man like it too. Because men often wonder, well, what she? I wonder what she got on underneath a dress. I wonder if she wearing underwear or thong or whatever, you know. That's just how they think. So you'll be attracted to a man as you are trying or better yet, loving yourself. And so... Jeans are, are nice too, you know. I mean, when I say dresses, I'm talking about flowing dresses, not the tight fitted ones that show every curve on you, the flowing ones. But not momo looking, you know. Anyway, so jeans. Jeans are nice too, but with a nice blouse that still shows that feminine essence, you know. Beautiful beautiful colors, you know, um neutral type colors, pinks and the nudes and whites and baby blues and even red you know beautiful feminine colors anyway makeup this is another thing that maybe conscious people don't do anymore but we have to realize that there's levels to consciousness so in the beginning yes you think okay well makeup is toxic yes they make this out of this and this this and this and that but you come to a point in your journey when you become the alchemist well, you should be able to transform the energy of anything. So, in the beginning, I used to put my makeup on my altar. I used to put my makeup on my altar and I'll just set it there overnight for the next day or whatever. And so I go to the bathroom and my makeup is blessed because anything that I put on my altar is blessed. But I don't even do that anymore. When I buy it, I bless it and that's it. And it, 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 is, it my makeup not going to do nothing to me because there's, there's, there's levels to consciousness. I am the makeup. So why would I hurt me? You know, once you evolve in consciousness, you'll see that you can transform the energy of anything. But some things, like I don't want to transform the energy of eating dead animals all day long. You know, transforming the anger into love. Yeah, yeah, I understand you could do that. But I don't, I don't desire to constantly consume those things, you know. Anyway, being loud. Being loud. Just like, ooh. You know, they, there's, there's a saying, something like, confidence is silent, but the opposite, you know, the lack of confidence is, is loud. In so many words, that's what this particular saying says. So being loud, being loud, let me see what he's saying right quick. Being loud, mouth and laughing really, really loud, that's like masculine energy. Masculine energy at its finest. There it is. Let's see. Confidence is silence. Insecurities are loud. That's how it goes. But being a loud person is like, ooh, and, and it goes back. It goes back to <laughs> what the opposite sex is is paying attention to. So a man of higher status, if you loud and ignorant, he's he not going to want that kind of drama around him because he have to go to meetings and professional events and stuff. This is if you're trying to meet a higher status man based upon you getting tired of meeting the same ones that you're thinking that ain't doing nothing for you or providing for you. If you want to level, get to another level, you have to step up to another level, you know? So talking a little bit lower, like using your inside voice slowing down your words it make people really gauge into what you were saying it's a more intimate setting and even if you lick the corner of your lips while you're talking and you gaze in that other person's eyes that is feminine energy that is confidence and the opposite of that is true too because i'm sure everybody know a man with a big loud drop he probably be a little man but he got a big old truck and he wake up people in the neighborhood or he have short man syndrome and he, every time he go out, he really loud. 
you know, to compensate for the short man syndrome, he got to go grab the mic. Or to compensate for having a little Vienna sausage, he got to be loud because he has an insecurity, a hidden insecurity, you know? So being feminine and, and speaking in the inside voice is graceful, is confident, and is sexy. Okay? <laughs> so, let's see. What else? What else? Um, the next thing I have on my list is breath. Fresh breath. You know, oftentimes, and this goes back to the diet, oftentimes we consume all of these animals you know and it builds up you know just like for example you go to somebody's house and their house smells a certain way that's not pleasing to your nostrils but they're immune to it they're used to it and, and so we have people that have like halitosis or bad breath and they don't really know because they're used to it it doesn't smell different to them you know they eat different animals they consume all kind of stuff inside of them and so they don't realize it so for this one here there is this product by essential oxygen it's uh, hydrogen peroxide actually I'm not talking about the one in the brown uh, bottle with the stabilizers that's a dollar no I'm talking about food grade hydrogen peroxide is in a white bottle with white and blue uh, writing on it anyway after you brush your teeth with your uh, fluoride free toothpaste if you're conscious and you're into that type of thing then you can spray the food grade hydrogen peroxide on your tongue and on your teeth and brush again rinse and that'll kill the bacteria and the smell you know that builds up on your tongue you know because the tongue actually is a mirror for what's going on inside of your stomach and so your tongue is going to show signs of you being a heavy meat eater or not or it's going to reek a smell of it Anyway, that can help you while you clean up your diet if that's what you choose to do or not. And I have detoxes uh, on my website. I have a transformation course that will help you get to that level of what to avoid in consuming. If you need that, it's available on my website at www.saltoftheearthpub.org. Anyway, the next thing is the nails. I put nails on the list because nails are, <laughs> are beautiful when they're polished in beautiful feminine colors and I'm only saying that because sometimes people choose to have nails that are maybe neon colored nails but we're going back to being loud again that neon color is really loud you know and so we're going back to what what, what you want to vibrate on if you want to vibrate on and constantly attract those that that's on the vibration of neon colored nails then do your thing babe but just keep in mind, if you're trying, if you're trying to evolve, you know, it, it's about becoming classier. It's about, it's about becoming more feminine, you know. And so, hair, just the same thing with hair color, you know, the loud hair colors, you know, the color of the dresses that you wear. I feel as though feminine energy is is classy. It is it's, it's like neutral. It's the pinks. It's the you know. It's the whites. It's the light, soft, soft essence. You know, it's organic. You know, I don't think that they have anything that's organically neon. I wonder if we have any organic neon fruits out there. Hmm, just just food for thought. Anyway. <laughs> And so your skin, you know, you, you want to look delicious, you want to taste delicious, you want to smell delicious. That's what feminine energy sounds like to me. You know, feminine energy is like a mango. Like, it's wet, it's juicy, it smells sweet, it tastes sweet. You know, it's mouth-watering, it's delicious. It, I have an appetite for it, I long for it. You know, I can't go, I can't go a week without it. <laughs> so, I mean... Hey, but that's just me. Everybody different. And even like, you know, your cleanliness. You know, they say in the biblical text, cleanliness is next to godliness. You know, the back of your ears. You know, you know where that earring stud is. Is it clean? Is it, is it clean? Is the wax built up out of the ears? I pay attention to that because I have short sides. And I go to the barber and the barber just be flipping, you know, the ear. 
you know, trying to do the lining right now. And so, and I have boys too, so I'll be telling them, y'all is clean, you know, because people at a certain angle, like if somebody was sitting right here, they could see inside of your ears. You want to, you want to be clean and fresh and just, whew. Anyway, uh, I did the, the shoes, I did the skin, the ears, okay, the little mustache, the little peach fuzz on, you know, on your chin. You know, getting rid of that. The man already has a mustache, you know. And so sometimes we get... I have a little peach buzz, you know, sometimes. You gotta take care of that. Yeah, we, we, we gonna need to take care of that. That's feminine energy, you know. And so for the people out there that believe men when they say, Oh, you look good just the way you are. Well, if you're going to believe them, you're going to stay on that frequency. And if you are a married woman, let me tell you, other women, when they see a handsome man, you probably did this yourself too. They see a handsome man, a well-kept, well-groomed man, and then they see a woman who's not taking good care of herself. They think, oh, oh. She she kind of looked like his mama, or ooh what what she did to get him, <laughs> you know, or ooh I can take him just based upon physical, you know, people in the box size you up like that, not knowing that there's an emotional connection that have you two together, but human nature acts and thinks like that, so sim simple, you know, so I'm just saying this for the women who just feel as though you know hey take me as I am when you can be so much more beautiful you could it's like you're enhancing your superpowers like why you don't want to enhance your superpowers why you don't want to show people or you better yet show yourself what the wool in front of wool man represents it's feminine essence it's your comeback. It's your power. And it, 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 people treat you different, I'm telling you, based upon how you look. I'm black, and if you black, you should know this to be true. When I go out, I can see the difference of how people are treated. You know, I go out places, I come home, and I have a story almost every day to tell somebody about a discount that I got, about how people just treated me so well, about how they open up doors for me, and just unexpected gifts or whatever when you're exuding feminine energy. But then I can see other people that have the weight, they don't get treated, you know, up to par. Just because maybe that they rushed out of the house. You know, human nature, them people in the box, they, they do this kind of stuff. They ain't looking at no heart. They ain't on no heart frequency. So I'm saying this so you can feel no matter where you go, you can feel like love, and then what will happen? You will attract love. Love will surround you. And then you'll begin to realize, even in your worst point in your life, where you are sad and maybe have went through something with a man and you feel like um, relationship over and he dogged you and, and you crying and you in the box and you think, you know, nobody don't love me and all this crazy stuff. Even in the box at your low moment, you are not separated from love. Because after so many weeks of crying, you recharge yourself. You say, wait, hold up, hold up, uh-uh. I'm about to put some clothes on. I'm about to go out. I'm about to have a drink or whatever. Whatever you do to recharge yourself. And you connect back to your source, which is the source of love. So you are never void of love. Oftentimes what it is is that we are looking for love in the wrong places where you should look for love first within you. And so these things tie into what you can do in order to get on a love frequency for yourself. But then when you turn around, you'll be on a love frequency and then everybody be loving you. And then your question will be, which one will I pick? <laughs> because there's so much deliciousness all around me. Okay? Be blessed.